This morning we're going to be tying an upside down golden stone pattern that's proven very effective, especially on pressured waters. Uh, I've got a 200R hook in there. You can adjust it to the size of your local bugs. I've got some uh, 140 denier uh, ultra thread and hopper yellow. Start that behind the eye and take it all the way back to the barb. Got a new color of uh, rubber legs here, uh, the dark golden stone round rubber from Hairline. Um, really, I think, pretty accurate as far as the coloration of a golden stone goes. So I've got two pieces here. I leave them tied, you know, kind of joined together. They come all in a kind of a bundle. This will be the tail. These are going to be about an inch long. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a strip of uh, two millimeter fly foam. Uh, in the gold coloration. And I'm going to lay that down about halfway down the shank. Just cover all that up. Now we're going to take that foam and we're going to wrap it forward. Snip off the excess. So what makes this fly upside down is that I'm actually going to dress the, pretty much the rest of the fly in an upside down manner. Um, so I've got my body made, my tails in place. I'm going to take a piece of gold McFly Lawn um, and I'm going to basically take about two and a half, three inches of that. And I, kind of going to loop it over and then just snip it so that I've got uh, some loose ends at the back. But basically I've got two, going to have two pieces approximately an inch and a half long. Tie those in right on top of the foam. I like this fly mainly because uh, there's no hook point riding down. And after you've had fish that have been fished to for a while, you'll see them actually kind of studying the, the bugs as they travel down. Um, and my, you know, my philosophy is the, the le less they see, the better off it is for us. And in this instance, it works fairly well because the bugs are so large that the fish really do have to make a commitment to it. They, they got to they gotta eat the whole thing in one mouthful or else it's not going to work. So um, over the top of this, I'm going to put a little elk hair wing. And you mean that because this fly is riding hook up, straight up in the air. I mean, yes. That's how it's meant to be riding. Correct. Yeah. And that way, you know, every hook set is basically right in the, in the roof of the mouth or in the, in the tip of the nose, um, which is a good place to hook them. If you get them there, they're usually going to come to the bank. And it's a different look. I mean, so many of the salmon fly patterns, you know, you go to a pressured water like the Madison or the Deschutes or something like that, you've got... Absolutely. So many of the same flies that came out of the shop, you know, that just turn it Sofa pillows down. and Clark stones, as effective as they are, I mean, and have been for years and years, you know, there's not, nothing wrong with switching it up just a little bit just to give them something else to look at. Stack the elk hair wing. Lay those tips right on top there. Trim off the excess, and then just take your thread and go over all those stubs. Now I have the little piece of excess uh, in there, and I'm actually normally would leave that on, just got kind of ahead of myself there, but this is going to get tied in basically right on top of that wing. We're going to wrap that forward as the actual budding material, so there's no dubbing, uh, per se, in this particular fly. At this point, we're also going to take a grizzly hackle, tie that in. Next thing we're going to do, I'll stick that in my material clip. Uh, next thing I'll do is I'll take two more of those dark golden stone round rubber legs, tie one in on each side. 
And again, I mean, if you guys have ever seen uh, golden stone or salmon fly hatch, one of the things that you'll notice about those bugs is that as soon as they hit the water, they're kicking and scrapping, trying to get over to the bank or get airborne because they know that being in the water is a bad thing. take my foam forward where, where wood dubbing normally be on say like a stimulator or get my legs out to the side just take this hackle that off at the front. I'm going to kind of get the rest of this material up and out of the way a little bit there. I'm going to whip finish now. So the final step to make this fly ride right is to take your uh, vise, flip it over, and then just take your, your scissors underneath there and cut a little uh, V into the hackle. Um, that way when it lands on the water, the hackles right it. Separate those tails. There you have a complete upside down golden stonefly. It's one of my favorites. I hope it's one of yours too.